This video is about chi-square goodness of fit test. The chi-square goodness of fit test checks whether the sample data is likely to be from a specific theoretical distribution. We have a set of data values and an idea about how the data values are distributed. The test uh, gives us a way to decide if the data values have a good enough fit uh, to our idea. I will use chi-square goodness of a fit test uh, to check whether the sample data of a height follows a normal distribution. No hypothesis uh, HO. The sample data of a height follows a normal distribution. Alternative hypothesis H1. The sample data of a height doesn't follow a normal distribution. Make sure a data set uh, that is large enough for so that at least five values are expected in each of the observed data categories. In this case, at least 30 samples are needed. Let's delete this index and also the weight. We will sort the data from a smallest to the largest. The smallest value is 63.48115. The highest data is 71.8. Then we will get an interval. H greater than 63, less than 64. And H greater than 64, less than 65. And so on until we get eight less than 72. Then we need to count frequency for each interval. Greater than 63, less than 64, we only have one. Then click here. From 64 to 65, we only have one, used a different color. From 65 to 66, then from 66 to 67. from 67 to 68. Just use the different color to label. From 71 to 72. Then just count the rows of a different color. One, here's the one, two. This is the one, here's the two. Then highlight. One, two. In this way, we will get the frequency, one, one, five, six, 
14, then 9, 7, 3, 4. Because uh, for at least uh, five values are expected uh, in each observed uh, category, we need to regroup uh, the interval. These three we need to put together. Therefore, for h greater than 63, less than 66, this will be 7. Then we delete uh, these two intervals. And the last two intervals we need to rearrange also. H greater than 70, less than 72. This will be 7. Delete uh, this interval. Then cut. Uh, Paste. Check the frequency equals the sum. We got a fifty, which means. Uh, the frequencies uh, for each interval are correct. Then we need to figure out the probability when the height uh, less than the lower boundary, like uh, here, 63, 66, 67, and so on. Also, we need to figure out the probability when height uh, less than the upper boundary. 66, 67, 68, uh, and so on. But first of all, we need to figure out the mean and a standard deviation uh, for the data for height. Let's find the mean first. Equals average. Then highlight the data. Enter. This is mean. Then for the standard deviation, put the equal sign. Standard deviation. We will use a standard deviation S. Then highlight all the sample again. Parentheses back, enter. So we get the mean and a standard deviation. Now let's copy mean and a standard deviation here because we got to use it. Now let's write down the lower bound uh, over here and an upper bound over here. We know the probability of a height less than 63 is zero because all the data greater than 63. Then double click this cell, put the equal sign, type norm, find the norm distribution, double click. We need an x value is a lower bound, then comma, mean is here, standard deviation is here, then click this true, then parentheses back, enter, then go to next cell, same thing, equal sign, type norm, Norm distribution.
67, comma, mean, comma, standard deviation, comma, double click this two, parentheses, enter. Double click uh, next uh, cell, equal sign. Normal distribution. 68, comma, double click uh, this uh, cell, mean, double click this cell for standard deviation, then double click uh, this true, parentheses back, enter. Use the same way, you will get the probability when height less than 69 and the height less than 70. Let's go to this uh, column. Since uh, the upper bound uh, is the same as uh, the lower bound uh, from uh, 66 uh, to 70, let's uh, highlight this uh, data, then paste uh, here. This one equal sign, norm, distribution, double click uh, this uh, 72, comma, double click uh, this mean, comma, double click this uh, standard deviation, then click this true, parentheses back, enter. Then we need to figure out the probability for each uh, interval we need to use uh, probability of a height less than upper bound minus the probability of a height less than the lower bound. Then minus, enter. Then highlight uh, this uh, cell. Make sure you have a plus sign, then drop down you will figure out the probability of uh, each interval. Now we need to figure out the expected uh, value. We will use uh, the probability of each interval times the total number of uh, data, which is uh, 50. Equal sign. Double click uh, the previous cell times uh, 50, enter. Then highlight this cell drop down. Now we can figure out uh, the chi-square according to this uh, formula, equal sign, then parentheses. Observed uh, it's uh, here, minus, expected value, parentheses, then square, divided expected, enter, then drop down, equal sign, sum, double click, then highlight this value, Parentheses back, enter. Chi square equals 2.06. Let's change this uh, chi square into this uh, formula. O minus uh, E, then square, divided by E. We need to copy this chart into our Word document. Click here, all borders, then copy. After we copy the chart into Word document, you need to make some symbol into math type. Highlight this. Insert equation. 
highlight this, make it uh, smaller. Then do this uh, separately, insert equation. Also here, insert equation. Insert equation. Insert equation. Then you can change the size uh, to make it uh, nice. Now highlight uh, this. Insert equation. Press uh, space. You will get this uh, square. Try to avoid the computer symbol in the Word document. We know this is a chi-square value. We need a chi-square symbol. Insert equation. Then click this equation. Click here. We need a Greek letters. Chi square is here. Then square. Press a space a button. You will get this uh, chi square equals 2.06. This is a total number. It's a 50. In this way, we will make uh, the chart uh, in math type. Since the data are subdivided into six intervals, one, two, three, four, five, six, there are three factors. Total number of data. When we calculated the expected value, we use the total number of data 50. Mean and standard deviation used for calculating the probability of a normal distribution. These three factors are connected with the frequencies. Hence, the degree of freedom of a chi-square distribution is 6 minus 3 equals 3. By referring to the table of critical values, at 5% significance level, the critical value is 7.815. According to this diagram, as 2.06 less than 7.815 as a critical value, we can conclude that at a 5% significance level, we do not reject the null hypothesis. The sample data of height are normally distributed.